G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So this is very exciting for me. It looks like I've actually got some peaches on the peach tree. How good is that? So that's the first time the peach tree's ever, well, first time it's been here long enough to flower and it looks like we're getting peaches out of it as well. So happy with that. It won't be a massive crop, but there is quite a few little peaches around the place, which I'm really very pleased about, as you can see. That's good news. That's my grape cuttings. Um, four out of five I got, which I'm pretty impressed about. Apparently um, you don't count your uh, chickens before they're hatched because um, it can still die off if the roots don't develop quickly enough. So that would be a bit disappointing, but four out of five. The one that didn't work is the one in the middle. The others have obviously worked well. Yay! The quails are back on the lay, happy to say. I'm only getting about one or two eggs a day. Um, but that gave me enough. I think I've got about six eggs in the incubator. So hopefully we'll get something out of them. I uh, haven't had a single bloody chick in the last couple of runs, so hopefully now it's back in spring we might actually do okay. And there we go, as predicted, two, two little eggs, that's good. These ones unfortunately will be eaten, because I can't put them in with the ones I'm incubating now, so they'll become people food. It's spring, so Bertha has gone broody again, uh, which makes it very interesting trying to put your hand up under her to grab any eggs that are there, because she'll go you. That's those areas. I think every clip I show you the lettuces that grew from when I banged the seeds so that you can see in the back there. I just banged them on the grow balls. I uh, got quite a few lettuces out of that, which is good. Um, someone asked me if I was going to separate them. The answer is no, I'm not going to because I'm going to eat them before they get real big. Um, those shallots are all shooting, which is terrific. Rob Bob from out at Ipswich gave me some Celtus. There's one there, Rob. Uh, so it's done pretty well, mate. I've got another little seedling uh, ready to get planted in. Uh, my other friend, Rob, from out at Sanford, gave me some collards. As you can see, Rob, they're growing. Now, we just did them from cuttings. So there's Big Boy there. And there's another one just there. Now, unfortunately, I had a bit of a aphid infestation uh, that knocked a couple of the real little ones. Um, but certainly that big one's come back, that's good. I'll tell you what, I've got no shortage of Lebanese watercress. Bloody hell! Oh, the little mini Roma tomato has started producing tomatoes. I've got a couple of them inside now to eat. I've got some cherry tomatoes on this side of the yard. They're actually suffering a bit. Uh, this one up the top here has been hit by something. You can see he's eating it. Um, so they start off all right, but something gets into them. And just a quick mention, all things citrus seem to be flowering. So that's that little lemon, lots of lemons that I rescued from my daughter. That's the ruby grapefruit. Over here we have the mandarins in flower. Uh, even the little Tahitian lime that I saved from around the front in the building site, he's got a flower. I reckon it's safe to say I've saved that now. Um, and the lemonade is flowering again as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, and I don't know how this is going to go, and I don't want to jinx myself, but the fig, the unproductive fig, is coming back. So you never know, maybe it might actually produce something of value and give us the odd fig but that's been a kind of wait and see hasn't it I'm telling you fig you don't produce you're gone oh, that's some rocket I'm letting go to seed hopefully I'll be able to show it to you around the other side of the yard because geez it did well it produced millions of rocket plants for me I said I'd show you that rocket that had seeded I put three of the seeds around this side that's him there the one that's gone to flower That'd be at least knee high on me, you know. It's really amazing how much that produces and it tastes quite good. Bit of a bugger getting to it because it's behind a prickly 
pomegranate, but nonetheless, I'm back around the other side uh, because the mention of the word pomegranate made me remember. So I've run back around the little dog's yard, uh, the big girl's yard, and I think I'm going to get my first pomegranate. I'd be bloody very excited if that's the case. So that's the elephant garlic. Now I'm thinking from the look of it that it's probably time to harvest. But I'll see if I can have a bit of a dig around and work out whether there's anything under there, in which case I will harvest, or whether I leave it a while longer. Well, that was disappointing. I ended up, I had to dig one out with a shovel. Um, but as you can tell, I'd say that's nowhere near ready. So we're going to plant that back in the ground, um, and we'll wait a while longer until we harvest our elephant garlic, if we ever harvest our elephant garlic. I've actually been getting quite a few cherry tomatoes off this side of the yard. Uh, the reason there's no red ones is because I've gone out about 10 minutes ago and harvested a whole heap of them. Uh, they're inside and they'll be tonight's go in tonight's dinner. So I just pulled this bean off the Madagascar bean. Uh, something's obviously had a chew at that bloody thing. Um, so that's a worry because I didn't think this had any pests. The other thing I'm noticing, and it's probably maybe just the age of the bean now, is it's not thickening up and producing beans properly. So we'll keep a little bit of an eye on him, I think, over the next couple of months. It might be time for the old boy to get replaced by a new vigorous upstart. The curry tree has finally taken off. God, that was a bloody half a little tiny stick only a week ago. So when they take off, they certainly take off, but I'm very happy to see that. This is the pear, the tropical pear, that the bloody possum ate. Um, you can see he's coming back, so I'm happy about that as well. That's looking good. Beautiful. So the final thing I'll show you is the garden on the footpath. It's sort of not doing a lot still, kind of struggling along. Oh, there you go, look, there's a little tear-shaped tomato, produced a couple of little tomatoes for me. Um, Trombocchino is doing well out here. The little mangoes taken. And the other thing I wanted to show, just to mention to Rob Bob, look mate, it's back. And you can see all the new growth coming back on that stalk, so that's fantastic. Whew, thought I'd lost him. Alright, well that's about me for uh, this week's exciting adventures. All right, you have a good one. See ya.